Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing my eyebrow routine. If you guys wanna see how I did my eyebrow routine, you just keep watching. I just recently started doing my eyebrows and filling them in and getting them relaxed. So I'm kinda new at the whole eyebrow on fleek thing, but I tried my best. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I do my eyebrows and fill in my eyebrows, take care of my eyebrows. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in a second. Hey guys, so this is my eyebrows when they are not filled in or groomed or anything they have been waxed and I wax I got them waxed um two weeks ago so yeah um, I really haven't took care of my eyebrows a lot so this is just how they look um I just recently started getting my eyebrows waxed like probably just the beginning of this year I just started getting my eyebrows waxed and taking care of my eyebrows I never really was a eyebrow person even though I know that makes a big difference in the makeup community, in the beauty community, in the beauty world. So I just started to take care of my eyebrows because I know that they need to be taken care of. And I really think that I look a lot better when my eyebrows are taken care of than when they're not taken care of. So I use e.l.f. products for my eyebrows because I'm a beginner at doing my eyebrows. A couple of weeks ago, I went and bought this e.l.f. This e.l.f. brow kit. And I got it in a shade medium. It comes with a gel and a powder. And I suck at the gel, so I like to use the powder. I use, like whenever I would fill in my brows before I got this product, I would just use an eyeshadow or a dark shadow or powder. Oh, and the brushes I use are the e.l.f. brush. And it has a spoolie and it has a little eyebrow thing in this color right here. And my elf tweezers. And I seen somebody use chapstick to make their eyebrows like stay in place. So I'm gonna try that. So let's see how this works. I use the powder and don't use that. I really suck at this. Use this. I like to start in the middle of my brow, just so I don't go too harsh on the outer or in the inner or the outer. So I like to go in the middle with a good amount of product. And I think this elf brow product is only like three dollars and then once I have the desired amount and look I want the middle I will just take the excess and I will just take the excess and do an arch um, so this is what I do and I keep applying it until it looks more natural I like natural brows I don't like the chalky, stripy, whatever I like natural, natural brows. Once I have that done, I will take some more and put it in the middle and just like feather it to the front. Just to get the front to be full also. And I really, I really think that the um, chapstick made a difference. It looks so much better than they usually do. So yeah. And then next I will outline the bottom and the top. I like to do the top. And then blend it down. Then I like to take I, I take a little bit of powder and just blend it on the bottom. And then this brow. Then I like to apply a highlight color under my brow bone. I like to use the I like to use the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop, but I usually just go for this because it's right there and I like the color, so I would take um, this Studio 35 or Studio 50 brush, this little bit of my Champagne Pop on the side of my brow bone, right, I put it like right under the arch, and then I will blend it down. 
and it gives your eyebrow like a lifted effect so this is how I do my brows this is the one I did this brow and I didn't do this brow so they look really different and I really like how this one turned out um, and I'm gonna start using the chapstick I'm gonna do this brow and I'll be back to show you guys the finished look hope you guys enjoyed my eyebrow routine and I'll see you guys in my next video it should be great so bye guys peace